Ah, hey Rumi. What's up? You're looking a little listless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Never know what to do with myself on Valentine's Day. The real world becomes unbearable for a single person. <laughs> it's always been this way for me. I mean, I usually try to ignore the holiday, but it's hard not to see everyone else doing something special or celebrating. People posting about dates they're going on on social media, YouTubers making Valentine's Day specials. Even this stupid little mobile game I play is doing a Valentine's event. It's just so annoying. I know. Let people have their fun and all. But like, what am I supposed to do today? I guess I could try to do something special for myself. It's not like I'm going to be able to find someone to spend the day with, so... Instead, I could treat myself to something nice. But also... Uh, I'm kind of skinned this month. January was hard. I had some debts to pay off. Ugh. So, probably the best treat I can give myself is another quiet night in. Yeah. Maybe that isn't so bad. But man, I feel like I've had a lot of quiet nights in lately. But enough of my moping. What about you? Got any plans? Hmm. Nah, somehow I suspected you wouldn't. Uh, what? No. No, sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. Not really. If I sounded a little too serious, I'm... Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm just not in a great mood. It's... Well... <sighs> mm. Well, I was just thinking about what happened. Between us, in November. You know. But we don't have to... It's difficult to talk about. And we don't have to. If you don't want to. No, 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 I, I mean it. Uh, we don't have to talk about it. I don't want to make today any more miserable than it is for two single people. So I'm just going to chill and put on a comfy film. Maybe go for a walk or something if this rain lets up. I'm just not sure what to do, really. Uh, no. I, I'm not going to get delivery. I think I'll cook something up for myself. Just feeling skin. I can't really afford a takeaway. Plus, I bet everywhere will be really busy this evening. I guarantee you'd be waiting like two hours for a cold burger or something. I reckon I can rustle up something simple with what I've got lying around in the cupboards. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure, if you don't have anything in, I can cook for two, if you like. But, uh, <laughs> this isn't going to turn into a thing, is it? A thing between us, I mean. <laughs> no, not that kind of thing. I really don't mind cooking for you. I mean, a, a thing between... Uh, look, never mind. Yeah, I'm just going to do something simple. Um, I think there are some noodles in the cupboard and some veggies in the fridge. And I got some real nice soy sauce in at the moment. Not any of that supermarket stuff. It's from the Asian hypermarket down the road. It's really good. Yeah, all right. Cheapo stir fry it is. I'm not going to start it yet, though. In a bit, maybe. I'm not hungry just now, and it only takes ten minutes. You know, it can't always be me that just happens to end up cooking for both of us. I mean, I know I offered this time, but you've got to get there first with an offer at some point. <laughs> I'm not even sure what sort of stuff you cook. What do you mean I'll never find out? Okay, fine. Keep your secrets. Doesn't bother me. But this is the last stir-fry you get out of me. Or any dish, for that matter. Well, okay. Maybe not the last one ever. But definitely the last one for a while. Maybe I should start charging. Open a one-customer restaurant in the apartment. What do you think? That's a good idea, right? Or how about... You pay my half of the rent, and you never have to cook again. Ugh. No, you're right. I'm not that good. I wish I was. I fear I'm destined to only be an average at best cook. 
Anyway. Look, I don't know if I can go on pretending I'm not thinking about it. Especially knowing that you are definitely thinking about it too. Yeah, come on. I'm not stupid. On a day like today, when we just happen to end up together in the flat with nothing going on, just like in November. Except today's Valentine's Day, so it's like mega extra on your mind, right? Surely. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. So, come on. Let's hash things out. Let's put this shit to bed. Not like that. Okay, fine. I'll start. So, like, that night in November, I know we kind of said after that we thought it wasn't a great idea. Already living together is a pretty big hurdle to overcome in any relationship. Things could become messy, whatever that means. Right, I know it was me that said that, but... I don't know. I guess I think I was just saying what I thought I had to say in the moment. What I thought you wanted to hear, maybe? Well, because it was you that first expressed doubt in the whole thing, and I didn't really want to argue, and I still don't want to argue about it now. Sure, I understood what you meant. Maybe I did even feel it myself a little. It was scary thinking that if we entered into a relationship, we'd be starting it off with living together rather than dating and then making the decision to cohabitate when we got to that point. Right. We were on the same page. Normally a couple wouldn't begin a relationship and then immediately move in. But what if you already live together? What do you do? It was confusing and scary and yeah, of course, I get it. I understand. But it's been a few months now. We've both had time to think about it, and I don't know if it's stupid to talk about this kind of thing on Valentine's Day of all days, <laughs> when we both have <laughs> romance on the brain, I guess. But maybe it's the perfect time to talk about it. I don't know, because we're both in the same position? The same sort of frame of mind? Makes it easier to see eye to eye? Or maybe I'm just talking shit, I really don't know. I was gonna say, what I do know is, but that's a cliche. And the fact is, I don't even actually know. But what I think is that us spending time together just us two. Feels right. Feels how it should be. Right. Sure. Maybe we are just good friends. Really good friends. It's possible. Maybe I'm just confused. Maybe we're both confused. Because we would both have to be confused, right? I mean, don't tell me you aren't feeling all this too. And I mean, we must have both been really confused back in November. But I don't, I don't really think so. I don't think it's just that, is it? I... I just... It keeps coming back to us too, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter how many stupid Tinder dates we go on with strangers, it always ends up with us on the sofa together, both single again, one comforting the other, or enjoying each other's time together. And I can't... I don't know how I'm supposed to pretend like I don't feel something really strong for you. I don't think I can. Yeah. So... Even if the fact that we already live together makes things feel a little messy, complicated, fuck it. You know, I don't think I care that much. If it causes problems down the line, then 
we'll deal with it when we get there. Until then, I'm tired of pretending like I'm not crazy for you. And shit, I said all this before. It's not like this is a one-off thing. I feel like we have this conversation once every few months. I don't know what I want from this conversation. I guess I just want your natural reaction. You know, whatever's in your head right now. Let's hear it. Wait, uh, okay. I'm gonna take that as you feeling the same, yeah? Cool. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. <laughs> 